of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome everyone to our Eucharist. Let us pause now and experience the healing and peace that comes to us from our risen Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is a source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency. And with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who, search, who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones, according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus proposed another parable to the crowds, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all throughout the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme of today's message is a God of second chances. The story of the weeds and the wheat that Jesus told would have been a very familiar agricultural image of the people of Palestine. They knew that the wheat and the weeds at the early stages looked exactly alike and you couldn't tell one from the, dis- from the other and you had to let them both grow until harvest time and then separate them. Jesus used this image to teach us about God's patience that God is patient with us, a God of second chances when we need it. We've all needed second chances at some time in our life. A God who is lenient, a God who has clemency, and a God who gives us time to grow. Pope Francis says, you know, saints don't just drop down from the sky fully made. We become saints, we grow, we gradually grow in holiness. And so God is a patient God. And that image also tells us something about our church. The church is not for the perfect. The church of Jesus is for sinners. We're all in the process of becoming saints, saints in the making. And in all of our lives, there is goodness, the wheat, but there's also struggles and weaknesses, and we experience evil too, the weeds. Um, we might ask the question, wonder if in my life there's more goodness than evil. One time a little girl was asked the question, if all the good people in the world were orange and all the bad people in the world were purple, what color would you be? She said, I'd be striped. (laughs) I'd be striped. Yeah. So we might ask, well, I wonder if there's more goodness or evil in me. The church actually answered that question. In the Council of Trent in the 16th century, the church said, at the core of every human being, there's more goodness than evil without exception. Is that nice to hear? Thank you, church, for making that so clear for us. So we need to be reminded of our goodness and how God has planted the seeds of his goodness and of his love into all of our hearts. And so the church is a mixed bag. A church only of saints might be nice, but it wouldn't be Christ's church because he came for sinners. He came to save us. He came to seek us out. And so this parable of the weeds and the wheat tell us about our world and the patience of God. There is evil in the world, we know that, and it can destroy lives. We are aware of that. Grace also has power. Where sin abounds, 
grace abounds more abundantly. And it too is present and growing in our lives. So in acts of goodness that we witness, that should encourage us and in our own lives. Despite the weeds in every generation, in every parish, there is still a harvest of people who want to know God, love God, and serve God in the world. So do not be distracted by the weeds that we forget about the wheat among us, the Christian harvest, which is the sign of Christ's final triumph. We know in the end, goodness wins, love triumphs, light conquers. The wheat, the goodness within us and in our world gives us assurance that there'll be a rich harvest in the kingdom of God. Let us give praise and thanks today for a patient God, a God who gives us time to grow and to be changed and to be transformed. Yes, a God of second chances. We now proclaim our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our gracious God sends his spirit upon us to help us to pray. With confidence we now bring our needs and the needs of all of God's people to prayer. For the Pope. May he be guided by the Holy Spirit to continue to be an inspiring spiritual leader in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of understanding in society, may all leaders seek reconciliation and mutual forgiveness so all may live in peace and harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for a spirit of prayer in our community, may the Holy Spirit teach us how to pray by calling on God as Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for your love and care for us and the abundant blessings you bestow upon us each day. Hear the prayers we ask with faith and love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy 
as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Donald and Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should should enter enter under under my roof, but only only say say the the word word, and my my soul soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Very grateful to the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception for hosting our TV Mass today and to the Communications Office of the Archdiocese of Washington and the Diocese of Arlington for this beautiful ministry. I'm grateful also to the wonderful choir today from St. Catherine Labore in Wheaton, Maryland for leading us in our praise of God so beautifully today. And if anyone um, would like to have a visit of someone from your parish church, a priest or a Eucharistic minister, please call the parish church. We're always happy to come to visit you and to bring you the sacraments and to pray with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. The greatest victims of the January 2010 earthquake in Haiti were the young. More than 2,000 Haitian children underwent emergency amputations in the quake's aftermath. The Knights of Columbus, partnering with Project MediShare for Haiti, has pledged to make life-transforming prosthetic limbs available for every child amputee. These are literally her first steps. The Healing Hades Children program is allowing Hades youth to rediscover sport and to dream of a better tomorrow. Join the 1.8 million member Knights of Columbus in helping us continue to rebuild a country, one child at a time.